Morning guys, CGL's New Jersey Collectibles here. It's early on a Saturday morning, and as you can see, I have my jacket on because it's actually pretty cold out. I think we're at like 55 or 54 degrees, which on a winter day feels nice, but today it feels really cold. So I'm on my way to the flea market today. I'm gonna look for some good buys. I'm gonna try to recuperate from the, uh, the trading card purchase, which so far I, I haven't um, done too, too much on it. I'm still going through the items and still. Ooh, I just saw a guy run past my house. What's going on here? But um, yeah, we're we're gonna go to the flea market, see what we can find. Hopefully, find some good buys. Hopefully, find some good comics and toys. And uh, I'll see you guys there. What's going on? Good. Do you have another one of your cards? Yeah. Almost your card. I want to sell it. Can you check the area? Yeah. Cool, man. Thank you. Yep. No problem. I got. I. I went to go make up those cards, and. Uh, it was like 150 cards for 25 bucks, or it was like 500 for 30 bucks. So I was like, I'll do the 500. Exactly. Then I got them and I was like, what am I gonna do with all these cards? You'll use them. <laughs> I'll use them over time. You know what I decided to do on, on eBay? Anybody in the New York, New Jersey, or Pennsylvania area, I just throw the card in there with the, the eBay package, yeah. Everything? Okay. I think it's uh, 75 so stickers. Thank you, man. Superman and this Blade Runner, number one. Mm -hmm. Any 
Superman's are How's it going? Good, how are you? Just curious, the Matchbox and the Hot Wheels playset, what do you got on those? The cargo plane and the Matchbox, uh... I would take 60 for both. Huh. Mind if I just take them out and look at them? What do you got on the uh, the shower head? 65. 65? That's pretty cool. Yeah, very hard to find, very rare. Are these guys here? Yep. Oh, we found a few comics here. Oh, yeah, no problem.
guys we're uh, we're back at the house it is the next day today is sunday and the reason why i wanted to wait um to record on sunday is because my dad and my brother were out at a a swap meet in english town new jersey and my dad said that he was going to come back with some really cool stuff so before i recorded um this recap video i wanted to include the stuff that he found at the um at the english town swap meet so but first i'll go over the uh stuff that we bought uh, at the flea market on Saturday and you guys could tell by the video it was kind of a rough day There wasn't a lot to see there was a lot of the same old crap. There was a lot of nothing there was uh, Not a lot of cool stuff, but all these comics guys came from our guy Dolph over at junkyard breaks Who uh, posted on a couple of my videos saying that he's going to be at the Meadowlands flea market through the month of October so do get your butts over there and check him out because he's got some great deals. He let us know uh, as soon as we pulled up that everything uh, that he had marked at its sticker price was half off. Everything, irregardless of the price. So we took advantage of that. Got a bunch of these um, Master of Kung Fu comics. My dad mostly picked these out. We do have some other... Uh, Masters of Kung Fu that we're gonna put them all together and make a nice eBay batch and this for me guys was my buy of the day uh, $30 sticker price, so I paid about 15 bucks for it and then Dolph even knocked the price down a couple bucks So we'll just call this like a 10 to $12 buy and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's not in the best condition. I mean you can see it's got it's got some line creasing here the uh, the Spine is a little a little messed up, but you know what? It's worth every bit of it. It's a nice issue. Silver Age uh, Journey into Mystery Thor comic with some killer artwork. And I believe this is an, an early Loki appearance as well. So good things there. And then we also got these two. Show the other. I don't know if you guys saw that one. Show the other one. The Incredible Hulk. Love the Incredible Hulk cover. Still a 35 cent issue. All right. And, uh, uh, I'm looking around to see if I bought anything else, and I don't think I did because I think that was just a really crappy day at the flea market, uh, with the exception of these comics. But here is some stuff that my dad picked up at the English Town Swap Meet. Um, to be honest, I'm looking at this stuff for the first time as well, so I don't know uh, what's in here. Um, I do see that he has some comic books, so I'll be curious to see what they are. He didn't tell me what he paid for all the stuff. I, I will have to ask him about that. Usually my dad doesn't buy toys, and usually I don't. I tell him not to because he usually pays the, the wrong price, but he got a bunch of these X-Men's. I, I bet he got a good deal on them. And you know what? After the day we had at, at our flea market, I'll take anything at this point. Oh, this is a nice one. That's a nicer one. I, I have no idea what's in here. I'm literally pulling these out and seeing them for the first time, guys, so it's pretty fun. Doing like a little mystery bag. Another cable, X-Force. It's one of the bulky ones. This storm is nice. And the, the condition of the package isn't too bad. I mean, it's a little... All these all these blisters are a little wavy. Iceman. It's got a lot of corner wear. A lot of shelf wear on it. But it's still a nice piece. I don't know what my dad paid for these, so that'll be interesting. Uh, this batch I did go through, and there are a couple of nicer issues in here, guys, so check this out. I don't know what he paid for them, but my dad usually doesn't overpay for comics, so I trust his, uh, his purchases. Not sure what these comics are. The better ones are on their way. This one's really beat to hell. I'm surprised he, he bought that, but he must have got a better deal. Here's another one in, in kind of rough shape. These are falling over, so I'm going to just take them and move them. Here we go. Uh, this is one of these book record sets. It doesn't seem to have the record in it, but you still have a Captain America and Falcon cover and comic. All right, there's a comic in here. Yeah, so that was supposed to come with a record that would play the, the voiceovers, which is always a pretty cool feature. I have a couple of those. 
another uncanny x-men here we go guys check this out silver age spider-man found at the english town swap meet not in great condition but nevertheless and look at this guys check it out amazing spider-man number 44 early lizard appearance and even a golden age sensation comics I believe my dad told me the significance of this book you see the kind of rough shape that it's in it's got some writing on it up here but it is an early Wonder Woman appearance so pretty cool and we got one more bag of stuff guys once again another mystery bag for me I don't know what, what I'm gonna be pulling out of here but this is pretty cool Hot Wheels X-Men Blackbird love it I never saw this before so that's pretty cool I didn't know that they made those and we got some more comics don't know what I'm gonna find let's check them out already off to a great start with the Eternals number one Fantastic Four with an amazing Doctor Doom cover I keep hearing more and more talks that Doctor Doom is going to make an MCU appearance at some point but I'm definitely not expecting that but it would be cool I'm, I'm, I'm still on the Kang the Conqueror bandwagon I just think that he's the consensus as to the direction of Avengers um, but we'll see. We will see. So far, there hasn't really even been an Avengers talk. Who knows if we're even going to get more Avengers movies. Some X-Factor. Uncanny X-Men 227. It's a cool Ghost Rider cover. Captain America. Got Abe Lincoln on the cover there. Wonder Woman. Tarzan. I like that. I Vampire, starring the House of Mystery. Pretty cool. There's more X Men. some flash oh super cool this is a super cool cover got mongol on the cover there kind of holding superman in a glass cube it's got a it does have a crease going through there but i love mongol daredevil man without fear very cool and here's oh this is a nice cover daredevil with the black panther guest appearance I'm not sure what this is but the mighty mute mute animals the mute the mutanim the mutanim the mutanimals oh my god try saying that five times fast mutanimals pretty cool and we got a little bit more a couple more issues the bottom of the bag here Oh, just had a collapse. Another daredevil there. More daredevil. A lot of daredevil looks like. Daredevil kingpin matchup. Looks like another kingpin story here. Daredevil goes berserk. Fantastic Four. Kazar. The Inhumans, number 10. Not too sure what the Inhumans is about, but it looks cool. And here, wow, just happened to be the last book I pulled out of the bag. That's got to be the coolest one out of the bunch. 
the Incredible Hulk with Abomination and Rhino on the cover. You got um got some corner wear going on there, but I mean, it's just super cool. Like I told you guys, Hulk is one of my favorite, if not my my absolute favorite Marvel character. And the Hulk Abomination matchups are always cool. Plus, you got the Rhino. Super cool, guys. So my dad kind of came through and saved the day on what would have been a pretty short, boring uh, video. Um, but overall, I mean, I'm really impressed with some of the stuff he got. I'm curious to f find out the price on these toys and um, see if I can do anything with them. These are usually, these guys are usually tough eBay sells because of shipping costs really kind of eats into most of what you're going to get out of them. But honestly, if we do a flea market day or something, these will be great to br bring along with. So I guess that's going to do it for this video. It's kind of a shorter one as far as the Saturday flea market videos go. But it's okay because, you know, we didn't make any, we didn't do anything stupid. Uh, we came away with some good quality, came away with some awesome comics. And then my dad kind of saved the day with his early morning Sunday trip to English Town. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe. Um, this channel has been seeing some tremendous growth over the last week. Um, I think I gained about 10 subscribers within the week and we popped up over a hundred. So that's really cool. Please keep commenting. Please let me know what you want to see more of, what you think about um, the video, what you think about the stuff that I bought. Uh, do let me know and uh, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Hey guys, what's going on? So we're back at the house and um, you know, as you could tell by the video, um, it was a it was a rough day at the flea market, but. Mm.